Good morning, children. We'll continue the lesson. I hope you might have read your lesson in your home. Okay? We were learning the story of Jagni's first day at school. She was sleeping early in the morning on her bed itself when her grandpa and grandma and her mother came and called her. She did not bother about to get up. But when her fa father came to call her, she got up from her bed very fast and got ready. Okay, now shall we read the next paragraph from page 51? Jagni had no choice left. Dad never raised his voice or spoke harshly. Harshly means roughly. But you didn't argue with Dad. She did not argue with her dad. Okay? And she got ready very fast within a few seconds. And she got ready and went into the car and sat. In the car, dad smiled at her and said, Things will be just fine. Trust me, Rex. But Dagny did not say any word to her father. Dagny said nothing. All the way, she kept looking out of the window. School children in pool cars, school buses, happy, noisy and all. None of them looked as if they could bite her and yet. Okay? She was watching from her car how the children are going to school. Okay? Some of them were going in school buses, cars and they were making happy sound or noise. They were very happy and it doesn't feel her anything strange. Okay? Now, they were standing in front of the bright green school gate. Okay? The door, the doorkeeper let them in. They walked up a tree-lined pathway past an enormous lush green playground. Underline that enormous lush green playground. But it was so quiet all around. Where was everybody? Enormous means it was extremely large. And lush means having a lot of healthy grass and plants and trees. Okay. So they walked up a tree lined pathway. That means in both sides they can see the trees lined up on the way. And even they can see a big playground, large, with a green grass. It was so cute to see. But it was very quiet all around. She could not hear any sound from any of the children. Where was everybody? She was wondering. And they had to wait at the office for the assembly to end. It was an assembly time. The children were standing on for the assembly. They had arrived late. The principal was an el elderly lady with a smile of an angel. So, Ragni and her father were late. Okay? And the principal was an Elderly lady, that means an old lady with a smile of an angel. Even though she was very old, she was smiling just like an angel. Never mind that you are a bit late. The principal said, no problem, you don't need to worry, you were a little late. No harm's done, no harm done. It is your first day at school. After all, and the principal said in a very lovely way that even though you were a little bit late, no problem, you were on the first day at school. 
Dagny smiled a ne nervous smile at her father and bade him goodbye. Okay? So, Dagny smiled a nervous smile at her father and bade him goodbye. Bade him means said goodbye to her father. The walk along the corridor seemed endless. Classes had already begun. It would be her turn any moment now. Her heart went pit apart. How would she manage? Okay, so the principal and she both were walking along the corridor to the classroom. And even Dagny was little nervous. Okay? And how would she manage? And when they reached near to a classroom, this is your class. The principal's words brought her thought cup. Okay? So the principal showed her a classroom and she followed the principal into the classroom and her head bowed. The noise dropped to a whisper as the kids rose on their feet and greeted the principal. You know that when a principal is coming into our classrooms all the children will get up and wish, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Just like that. Here also happened. When the principal came into the classroom, all the children got up and they wished their principal. Yagni heard her say, Children, this is your who? New class teacher, Miss Yagni. Okay? So, how did the principal welcome her into the classroom in front of the children? She said, children, this is your new class teacher, Miss Yagni. Good morning, Miss. Their voices rang out. All the children in a same voice together. They wish their teacher good morning, Miss. Yahani looked up. The kids were looking at her with the bright, smiling eyes. And they were faces of friends, not strangers. When she saw the bright, smiling face on the children, the teacher's fear had gone and she thought they are not strangers they are very friendly she thought okay now you understood the story okay in the beginning this story is telling about a girl who is very scared to go to school in the same way the same girl only here at the end of the story as a teacher entering into the class in front of the children. Okay? So, the story is narrated in such a way for in a surprise. Okay? Now, in the beginning, it is just a parents are forcing her to get up from the bed to get ready and at the end, we are seeing that it is not a student, it is a teacher. Do you like the story? Yes, it is a very good story and it is very simple to read it and there are only one or two new words are there. That one you can learn it by yourself. Okay, have a nice day.